my palm with silver. Oh, God, you're like a bloody broken old record, you, aren't you? Cross my palm with silver. Look, I can't cross your palm with silver. I've just had my bloody wallet nicked. Cross my palm with silver. You're a fortune teller. Oh, I got my words wrong. Bugger, bugger, bugger. <laughs> cross my palm with silver. Look, I can't cross your palm with silver. I've just had my wallet nicked. You're a fortune teller. You should know that. Cross my palm with silver. <sighs> Um. Oh, sorry, you have to go again. <laughs> Before the moon rises three times... Yes, yes. You're gonna die. Oh, I'm gonna... What? <laughs> you are going to die. No! No! Ah. Oh. Our glass is orbing and they all be spinning. Here, let me have a look at that. I, I, my words are wrong as well, now. <laughs> I'm winning so far. Here's <laughs> 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 your gin. <laughs> Oh, Eddie, Eddie, this is so sophisticated, isn't it? Ah. I feel just like Lord Byron and that other bloke. You know, Earl Thingy with the long dressy on and lots of flappy stuff around his chin. Really? Because you look like a stupid git with his raincoat on his... Hello, Ken. Fancy a shag? Eight series and he never said it. I see. You want someone homely, mm -hmm. with cooking skills, mm -hmm. fun to be with, and a wazzle pair of jugs. <laughs> That's right. But obviously we're flexible. But not about the jugs. No. <laughs> we have to be firm on the jugs. And the jugs have to be very firm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, come on, Ed. Hey, there must be more to life. I shouldn't have said Ed, then, should I? No, you can <laughs> Oh, go on, have another hobnob. Oh, you are evil. <laughs> Don't you start on me. Oh, it's just so good to get your feet up, isn't it? No, I'm not that pervy. <laughs> are you not? No. Do you know, I forgot my next line. Oh. <laughs> Three, on, three and five are... Minus uh, eight. Two and eight. Eight? So, two and eight is nine. Eight. No. Four hours, 17 minutes. Is it? Yes. Oh, yes, yes, I know it is. Yes, I knew. I was just about to say that. Four hours and 17 minutes to get in next door and remove the illegal gas... Ha, 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 Four hours, 17 minutes. Is it? Yes, that's right. I knew that. I was just about to say that. Right, so that means we've got four hours and 27 minutes to get in next door and remove the illegal gas pipeline we connected to next door's mains. Right? You... <laughs> you love... <laughs> Oh, look at that policeman over there. Which one? The one leaping about with waving his arms in the air. Oh, the one that's on fire? Yeah. <laughs> well, he's got no one to blame but himself. I mean, it was him that started it all by appealing for calm. Is this? Yeah. Provocative bastard! <laughs> I've forgotten my fucking line. <laughs> Good start. I think we should just wait for the window of curries to blow yeah. and then we'll pop out and do a bit of shopping. Right. There's a 28-inch surround sound TV with fast text, FST, Nikam and loads of other bollocks that no one understands. <laughs> that I've had my eye on for a couple of months now. Ooh, a bit overdone. <laughs> what? Shopping list, shopping list. I'll go and grab hold of my ballpoint. Oh, uh... <laughs> oh no, Richie! No time for crap double entendres. The window's just blown. They've thrown a policeman through it. Have they? Right, well, that's it. Banzai, baby. Balaclava's on and let's go shopping. I can't find my fucking balaclava, Ed. <laughs> <laughs> right. Shopping list, shopping list. I'll go grab hold of my ballpoint. Oh, uh... <laughs> no. Rissy, no time. Curry's window's just blown.
thrown. They've thrown a nun through it. <laughs> well, right. That's it. Balaclava's on. Oh, fuck's sake. Ah! <laughs> oh. Chopping list, chopping list. I'll go grab hold of my ballpoint. Ooh, uh. <laughs> Oh, no, Richie! No time for crap du blanc tendres. Carrie's window's just blown. They've just thrown Aswad through it. <laughs> right. Banzai, baby. Balaclava's on and let's go shopping. Now, this is definitely the last ride of the evening, Eddie. Hello. We've had plenty of fun for one evening. No, I said evening twice. I've fucked up already. Balls! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's going to be a long night. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. What, is that it? That's ridiculous. If I paid three quid for that ride, that's an absolutely outrageous rip-off. I mean, especially considering it's two juveniles like you and me, you shouldn't have to pay full whack anyway. Uh, it calm down. It's... Should we start again? Yeah, it's another one. <laughs> Hello, Pez. <Ken. laughs> Fancy a fuck? Donkey. <laughs> it's a good one, isn't it? It's this donkey and he's grazing in a field. This is true, actually. <laughs> he's grazing in a field and uh, a flying saucer lands. And the door opens and a little green man comes out like that. <laughs> Four legs. Four legs and, he, uh, and his head. <laughs> and he comes over to Toby the donkey. And he says, Toby, I could tell you a joke that'll blow your bollocks off. Toby says, I've already heard that one. <laughs> Happy Christmas, Dennis Norton. You bastard. 